Welcome to Africa Politics Punchline. And on this channel, we are mainly focusing on day-to-day -day politics that happens. If you are not a, yet a subscriber, take a minute or a second. Subscribe to this channel so that you get notifications once we have a new video out. Now, it has been exposed in the public domain that Ruto does not control the Senate. And the hell is broke. Ruto time is up. But before we get deeper into that, there was a post that I saw circulating on social media yesterday showing that the official residence of the deputy president is set to be renovated this year. This one is just <laughs> one of the signals sent out that really Uhuru is determined to kick Ruto even out of the government properties before his tenure expires. Uhuru has decided Uhuru is lethal. President Uhuru Kenyatta, he has decided he don't want Ruto to be anywhere. The fact remains that he don't have power to sack him. And that's why he has to do all these frustrations. The Jomo Kenyatta in Uhuru is out. Just the same way his father dealt with the Jeremogi Oginga Odinga, Uhuru is going to deal with Ruto ruthlessly. Now, back to our topic. Finally, the Jubilee Kanu Coalition published a list of names of senators who snubbed President Uhuru Kenyatta meeting at State House. Believe it, these senators are said to be kicked out of the Senate. You saw the interview with the SG, the Jubilee SG, Rafael Tuju. He said President Uhuru Kenyatta has decided and this list of these senators include Senator Priangay Victor, Senator Milsen Omanga, Senator Christina Zawadi, Senator Naomi Jilao Wango, Senator Mary Yana, and Senator Falhada Deken Iman. This list has exposed that Ruto has no numbers in the Senate. Actually, Tangatanga has been bragging of having numbers. The deputy president has been banking on nominated senators, not elected. Now I understand why and how Uhuru managed to kick the Kiambu governor, Babayao, from the office. Uhuru really has numbers and he had numbers in the Senate. Now, I'm not advocating for what Jubilee Kanu Coalition is going to do, but as we know Jubilee government, <laughs> they have been they have been not obeying the court orders. They are not going to court to obey court orders. I know these senators, after they have been expelled from the party, they will try to seek some justice from court here and there. But Uhuru will go on to kick them out. They are going to be expelled, exhaled, expelled from, the, from the Senate. How? The Jubilee system is going to do as usual. Ignore court. <laughs> use the registrar of political parties and the speaker of the house to accept the new nominees that they are going to give. And they, that's how they will be accepted and the other one will be at home. And maybe who will just move on to the National Assembly and do the same. So, if we try to do a comparison here, with the ODM and the ANC party. The ODM expelled Aisha Jumwa from the party, but later they obeyed the court order 
when the court ruled that Aisha Juma will have to continue to serve. They never disregard the orders. The ANC expelled Osote, the nominated member of parliament from Vihiga County, but later they obeyed the court ruling. All this drama is to openly tell the tireless Dr. William Samuel Ruto man, look here, I no longer need you. I no longer need you in my party. You can get out from your own party. Uhuru is not ready to let the Jubilee party go off. He wants to continue being the party leader of this Jubilee party. So we are waiting to see how the fight is going to go on. And surprisingly, many people outside here, they don't even sympathize with the deputy president. They're just little people, especially the NASA people. They are laughing at it. So we are waiting to see how these things are going to unfold. But I'm sure Uhuru is determined to deal with this Sugoi san. So Ruto has a lesson to learn. Ruto destroyed bridges when he got to power. He even abused some of the leaders outside here. When you talk of Raila, talk of Musalia Mdavad, talk of Kalons, anyone, he used very nasty words. He was very arrogant when he was making his comments about these leaders. But now, I don't know what he's going to do. But Uhuru has decided. Thank you for watching. Leave us with your comment and see you in the next video. Have a nice time.